What's going on guys, Arctic here, and I forgot to uh, record the beginning part of the match. Well, I just spawned in, but I forgot to record the uh, menu screen that I usually record. Whatever. Anyway, I'm playing some competitive assassinate on Shook. And uh, I'm going to get screwed right here. Awesome. Normally when I play competitive assassinate against higher level players, I get owned. But in this particular match, I do fairly well. So, uh, yeah. Let's get into it, yes? Uh, by the way, I hope you guys liked my new intro. I wanted something a little shorter. Even though it's like 8 seconds shorter, but it's shorter, so whatever. Yeah. Alright, let's go into the match, yeah. Um, right now, I'm in Souk. We're in Souk. And I am, uh, since Souk does not have <coughs> aerial, you know, a lot of aerial places, places you can aerial or acrobatic, I like to use the blend groups to approach converging, um... Uh, areas where people like to converge so I volt people and try to approach people with the blend groups um, since there's no aerial ground or upper ground to to get them so yeah that's my method in souk when playing assassinate against higher level players uh, is actually to use the blend groups a little bit more than you normally would because they seem to uh, help you out when approaching um, an area where most of the players are converging and right here I do a cool little trick I go left boom come back in right I went left real quick to make him think that I was going to go around that corridor again. But then I mute and go right at him and boom, stun, hidden. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked. But whatevs. That person just got poisoned by what seems to be the pirate. So I'm going to follow him in a slow manner. I'm not going to be too aggressive because if I... Usually when you're overly aggressive, uh, you get screwed. But, um, but yeah, but yeah, uh, I noticed that the pirate got poisoned, I'm gonna lock onto the grounded target who poisoned him, and I'm gonna get the quick kill. All I wanna do is chain my kills, and if I have the opportunity to get a high level kill, obviously take it. That goes without saying. Like this right here, I'm gonna do this, wall eject, he's gonna come up and follow me. Smart man, drop stunt. So, uh, that worked out to my advantage. I'm gonna hop in this blend group, wait a little bit, and kill her. But... I should have waited a little bit longer for that knight to come up. Maybe it would have got a uh, a hit and kill on him instead, and I would have still been alive. But again, I suck at assassinate. Um, so spawn back in. Gonna run back into the middle area here, and uh, see a few people fighting. They go up the stairs. I'm gonna follow them stealthily. And just stay in this area and see what's going to go down. I'm going to stay in this blend group. Just let everything all happen. Run to the next blend group. Because I noticed that the trickster's still here. And then I'm going to run up and get a hidden on her. So that all worked out well. And then I die. So <clears throat> what I learned in this match really is, at least on Souk, be very patient. You got to be patient. Be patient. Don't be overly aggressive. And you might do well. Surprisingly. What a shocker. But, uh, yeah, now this trickster killed her target. I'm gonna run up on her, kill her. I have taken the lead with a shitty reckless kill. Now, this guy does a really, really, uh, very aware. He, I did not even know where he was, and he saw me climb up and then do the ledge catch, and, uh, he killed me, so. He got me on that one. Definitely got me. I was not aware of my surroundings. He digs. <clears throat> so hop back in it, hop back in it. Who else? Who else we got? What we got over her? Uh, somebody in that blend group line of sight tells me that it is the pirate. So I'm gonna go after the pirate, cut his legs, then stab him in the heart, like a bouse. I'll continue on my business. Uh, by the way, this is a very low scoring match. Got oh, she won the lock there. But yeah, this is a, this is a pretty low scoring match. Uh, but it is a competitive one. Um, it's very down to the wire. Um, so it was fun. It was one of the f funner matches I played uh, recently. Especially against a, high, a lot of high-level players. I like playing uh, close competitive matches. So this was this was actually kind of fun. Right here, I'm just trying to gauge the situation. I'm trying to see how many people are here, but I'm running around like a jackass, and the knight is going to run around like a jackass as well and chase kill me. But I'm going to get a random escape close call. Greater variety, so that's going to give me 550 points, and it's going to give me the lead as well, so... Whatever, I'll take it, right? That's right. Bang. Alright, 
right, so right here, the champion kills the trickster. And I don't want to rush him because I don't know if he has smoke or whatever, so I'm going to just let him do his do. Let him do his do. And then I'm going to notice the knight coming in at me. He's going to lock me real quick and then unlock. And then he's going to expose me and I'm going to unlock him. And he's going to run away. And we're just going to do this stupid lock shit that we always do. And then the trickster's going to come at me. I'm going to mute her perfect timing. I thought. Nope. It wasn't. It was not perfect timing. It was actually pretty bad timing. Apparently, according to the game, that was bad timing. <coughs> so what can you do? I'm not going to rage. I'm not going to scream. I'm not going to be pissed. Let it happen. Next, we got the deacon. He's going to kill his target. I'm going to come up, and the OP smoke's going to own me. I'm going to get headbutted. And he's going to extend his arm. Stop. Lock onto me, then extend his arm, and then kill me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. So, yeah. OP smoke for the win. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But I guess at that, in that uh, instant, I was pretty, I was overly aggressive. So my fault, right? My fault. I'll blame it on myself. Now the trickster here, I'm gonna lock on her, unlock her. She's gonna lock me, and then she's gonna say, "I don't want to play pitter patter with you. I just want to shoot you in the head, in the head." So whatever, bitch. Uh, I'm not complaining about anybody's tactics anymore. I'm done complaining about tactics. It's um. It's it's sad. Whatever. It's sad. Lock on to him. <clears throat> He's in a smoke, and then I'm going to get owned by the Sentinel out of nowhere. Either way, I would have been owned there. I put myself in a bad position. That was my fault. Uh, stupid on my part. And yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Alright, let's run back into the action. I'm in third place currently. Not far behind. This Sentinel is not going to look behind him. So I'm going to cut his legs, stab him in the heart. Now I was going to run back to the chase baker, but I realized I locked it. Haha. <laughs> now this trickster's going to come at me. I assume she thought I did not see her. So she's going to walk away, go behind the wall. I guess she was attempting to cut me off, and now I noticed her. Lock on her. Mute her. For whatever reason, she started to chase. I didn't really see her run, but okay. And I'll get the focus. And I've taken the lead. I'm up by 50 points. This is close. Now the knight's here. Here's the knight. Here's a knight. I'm sure he knows who I am. I'm going to lock onto him, and then I'm going to unlock him so he doesn't uh, expose me. But now he locks onto me. So now I have the opportunity to stun him, so I'm going to throw knives. <sighs> nope. I was 99% sure that was going to happen, but I wanted to try it out anyway. Maybe he didn't have his smoke, but he did. Because that's my life. And now I'm dropped back to second place. 100 points behind. Pretty close match. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, now I'm just trying to find some more people to kill, see if I can't get back in the lead. There goes the trickster, she's going to get stunned by the crusader and he's going to run away. Because he knows I was there to vulture, and before that person rage quits, I was able to get the kill off, so I take the lead. And champion wrestling moves my ass to the ground, does a backbreaker, backbreaker. Alright, now I'm going to go for the solo arrow to the right. Notice that Deacon used Blender, so I know it's the other one. Climb up here. He didn't even expose me, so I'll take the Reckless Acrobatic and contain my lead for right now. And I have 50 seconds left. This is very close. <coughs> I'm only up by a couple hundred points. Lock the Sentinel. For whatever reason, I couldn't kill him initially. It didn't let me, but there you go. Alright. Jump over here. See what's going on over here. I could have muted. But I know mute doesn't work if nobody is locked on to each other, and I wasn't locked on to him, and he wasn't locked on to me when I had landed. So mute wouldn't have affected him. But then he locked on to me, and he surprised me. Whatever. Uh, I got screwed there. I knew I was done, but oh, oh, thankfully, he only got a uh, chase kill. So, very nice. Very nice. And here, the knight's going to kill the pirate, and I'm going to kill the knight. And I have taken the lead. I'm up by 150 points. I have 10 seconds left. Let's see if I can get one more kill to maybe secure it. I don't know. And there's the pirate. And boom, get the pirate. <laughs> and see if I can stay alive. And I do. And I'm glowing red. <laughs> but thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that competitive assassinate. I know it wasn't high scoring, but I thought it was somewhat entertaining. And maybe you guys would like to see um, how shitty I play when I play competitive assassinate. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the match. Hope you guys enjoyed the intro. And I will talk to y'all later. Peace.